Hello dear friends, welcome back. It's me Srija Suresh and you are watching SS Math Solutions. Today we are going to discuss about the K-10 category 3 mathematics pedagogy, one uh, important section that is qualities of a good mathematics textbook. The mathematics textbook is an important source for learning mathematics and it plays a key role in effective teaching and learning. A textbook should stimulate reflective thinking and develop problem solving ability among students. It is not only a source of information but a course of study. We can check what are the qualities of a good mathematics textbook. We know that when we will get a textbook, what we are going to check first, its appearance. That is the first thing, that is physical features. So first of all, uh, the paper used in the textbook should be of superior quality. That is the first thing we need, right? The paper used in the textbook should be of superior quality and its binding, its binding should be strong and durable. Then it should have good printing, bold font and easily readable. Then it should have an attractive cover page too. So these are the important thing from the appearance of a textbook, right? So paper should be superior quality, strong and durable binding needed. Then good printing, bold font and easily readable. Then attractive cover page. These are the important thing for appearance. Now we know that uh, the quality of a writer or author. That is the second thing we need to check. So qualified author should write it. That is the important thing, right? Qualified author should write it. Then it should be written by experts, maybe constituted by the state government. Then for the authors, minimum academic or professional qualification may be needed. Hmm? And uh, this will, when we uh, will put uh, any maximum or uh, mm, sorry, minimum academic or professional qualifications, uh, persons can avoid maximum errors. Okay, that is the important thing. So, these are the other part, qualified author needed, experienced, that the author should be experienced, then um, him, that person having academic professions and um, minimum qualification needed, right? And the next and important thing is content part. We know that uh, when we will take a textbook, we need the content. So, content should be important. So, the important thing we need to uh, check from the content is, content should be child-centered. So the subject matter should be arranged from simple to complex and concrete to abstract. So the uh, child centered, the sh it should be child centered. Then the content matter should be arranged from simple to complex. That is important. Then it should be written according to prescribed syllabus. So according one age group is there. So uh, that special age groups uh, mandatory thing should be introduced there. Hmm? So it should be written according to prescribed syllabus. Then it should be objective oriented. The answers given at the end of each section should be correct. It should include the recent developments in the mathematics areas that is important. It should provide for individual differences. There should be sufficient provision for revision and practice. It should stimulate initiative uh, for students, right? Individual difference means uh, in a class we know that uh, different uh, type of children are there some are intelligent some are below average or average so in uh, individual difference is there for their textbook also that is another thing we need to check from the content part then uh, it should facilitate the use of analytic synthetic inductive deductive problem solving heuristic approaches for teaching should be there then content should be organized in a logical way. It should suggesting project work, field work or laboratory work. So these many things we needed from the content part, right? Now we are going to the language section. So language means what? Language used to should be precise, simple and understandable. That is an important thing for a textbook. So precise, simple and understandable language should be used there. Then the style and vocabulary used should be suitable to the age group of students for whom the book is written. Then the term and symbols used must be popular and internationally accepted. So these are the things we need to check from the language section. I think it's clear. So the language should be simple and understandable. Then the style and vocabulary suitable for the age group. Then the terms uh, and symbols used internationally accepted. Now we know that as a mathematics teachers, the important thing is exercise part. So after each section, there is one exercise part is. So the illustration should be accurate, clear and appropriate for that exercise part. 
illustration should be accurate clear and appropriate then it should contain simple and difficult problems it should contain the exercise for challenging mathematically gifted students and opportunities for average and below average students so these all things we need to consider there so they are also individual difference so the for a textbook all following the individual differences hmm? then there should be well graded exercise given at the end of every topic the exercise should develop thinking and reasoning power of the pupils right so uh, these are all the things we need to check then we need uh, these are the exercise section i think so the illustrations are accurate clear and appropriate simple and difficult problem needed to uh, put there because the individual difference consider the individual differences then that is for gifted and for average below average students there so we need to uh, give the opportunities for everyone these are the exercise part now we are uh, going to check uh, some another general things at the end of the book there should be tables and appendices a uh, last page hmm? what all are the tables used there and the appendices also then the text textbook should be latest edition with the necessary modification that is also important so every year some new things will come so need to add that all the, so every year we need a modification the, the book should be moderate price and readily available in the market that is also important there should be diagram and figures wherever needed for mathematics textbook diagrams and figures wherever needed should be present then it should be free from mistakes it should provide sufficient materials to motivate students to solve problems the students should get adequate opportunity of learning through independent effort the problem should relate to the real life needs and physical and social environment of the learner these all are the things very important so the students should get adequate opportunity learning through independent effort that is also important then relate to the real life needs and physical and social environment so every time we are trying to connect our problem section or uh, every part to the real life situation that is also very important it should foster the right attitude towards self study and self reliance among pupils and it should done by promoting project work field visit and laboratory work so self study self study and self reliance among pupils and it should done by promoting project works field visit and laboratory works is needed there then the content should be up to date content should be up to date so it should satisfy individual differences in students and should meet the varying abilities interests and attitudes we know that in a class there are different children or different pupils were there so each one's ability and their attitude interest everything are different so need to satisfy each one's each individuals individual differences needed to satisfy there so that all things we need to check for the textbook so finally it should provide for practice revision and satisfies the demands of exam that also needed demands of exam so, so whatever the things we studied it will check for the exam also so that also satisfied there so these are the important things we need to check before preparing a textbook i try to cover all the points in this section hope you all cleared the qualities of a good mathematics textbook good luck to all thank you